Gravity Toilet has taken over YouTube, and today I'm gonna find out why. <laughs> yeah. No! No! Oh, what? Yeah! I haven't really seen Skibbity Toilet, so this is all new to me. Huh? Okay, uh, before we play the second one, I have so many questions. First off, there is a midget right at the start. What are the paintings on the wall? That looks like Flamingo. Okay, um, also, why is there a head in a toilet? Seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's happening. This has 57 million views. Hold on, I need to read the comments just to see if maybe people know what's going on. Day one, two species coexisting, humans and cameramen, until one day an unsuspecting cameraman heads into the restroom only to find a talking toilet head. The cameraman named it Skibbity Toilet due to its obsessive nature to yell out Skibbity. This video was supposedly a funny meme, but started a war between the two giants. Wait, there's a war? What is happening? I have no idea. If you guys know more about Skibbity Toilet, please let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll figure out more as we watch more episodes. Okay, this is Skibbity Toilet 2. So there's two heads now. And then there's a broccoli-headed dude. Uh, interesting. They were in urinals, so I don't know if they're technically Skibbities. What? Okay, hold on. This one, there's a lot going on. So first up, the thing that I notice is that obviously there's more Skibbity toilets. They are multiplying and some of them are bigger than others. It's not like they're all just like the same head. They're all different. They're all, they're all different shapes and sizes. And also, I don't know if you guys caught this, but there is what appears to be like a military helicopter in the sky. Okay, that, that is cursed. This has 74 million views. Okay, in this one, there's normal people eating at a restaurant, and then Skibbity comes right in. You can't eat in peace with Skibbity around. Wait, 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 hold up. Was that- was that toilet there at the start? Hold on, wait, did you guys know- Hold on, wait a second. They're all sitting on toilets, right? Their whole bodies are connected to the toilets, but you can at least see their whole bodies, and then after Skibbity, the original toilet comes in, I think they're all, like, him. Look. The guy in the back, his head was now in the toilet. I think they might be infecting everybody. Okay, maybe, maybe that, that's it. Hold on, wait, I want to see the comments on that one, just to see if maybe other people know what's happening. Day four, the Skibbity toilets enter a restaurant, and then all of the people become Skibbity toilets for an unknown reason. The cause is unknown, but they deserved food. Okay, Skibbity toilet number five. Okay, so this is getting weirder and weirder. This is like a Thanos level threat now. Skibbity. Also, it's weird because it seems like all of the toilets at the end, they're like attacking the camera. So just like in the first video, it seems like there's a war between some people called like the Skibbities, which are these toilet people, and then there's the cameramen, which I guess are the people that are recording the Skibbities, which is me. So that's why I think I'm dying every single time. Oh. Oh, look, that was like an act of war. We just murdered a Skibbity. The Skibbities don't seem very happy about that. Yo! Okay, so Skibbity Toilet number seven. This is where the war starts, and these are the camera people. This is me. This is who's been recording the entire time. Okay, it's starting to make more sense now. So there's a battle between the Skibbities and the camera people. We don't know why. We really don't know why. I mean, we, it, like, they flushed the Skibbity, right? But we don't know, like, where the Skibbities came from. What do the Skibbities want? What do the Skibbities need? What are they after? Skibbities can be killed by flushing them. I think, anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, the camera society. Okay, so there's the camera clan and the Skibbities. This, wait, the Skibbities have a police force? Did they used to live together peacefully? I guess they had to have, right? Oh my gosh, there's Skibbity Church. 
All hail Skippity Jesus. <laughs> Oh, the camera people came. He ate one of the camera people. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, wait. The camera people are actually pretty good, though. Okay, we're about a quarter of the way through, and I just want to see the comments again. This deserves a Netflix series. Agreed. 100% agree. Log number 11. A large cameraman force entered a battle against the skibbity toilets. Unfortunately, this group of skibbity toilets was particularly large and demolished the cameramen. I love how people in the comments are like actively keeping logs of every single day. Oh. Okay. Nah, dude. This is so weird. They literally have a devil skibbity. Okay, this has to be a skibbity shrine. They got like their golden toilet that they're all like praying to. <laughs> nah, sorry, no escaping today. Oh no, wait, we already saw this one. Okay, we're we're on skibbity toilet number twelve. So there's like compilations, but we want to skip over those. Back up, boy. That's right, down the toilet you go. Whoa. Oh, wait. Okay, so we've seen bigger toilets. That dude's got laser vision? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, yo, he's got a big pee, -pee gun. Check that out. Okay, they're getting upgrades. This is an all-out war. And if I know anything about war, is that it incentivizes technological advance. They're going to get really strong really quick. That was a skibbity rocket! Alright, dude. This is getting absolutely wild. They're getting more cursed, too. I wonder if there's like a supreme overlord with each of them. Oh, what? Rocket skibbity! Like, who's in charge of the skibbities and who's in charge of the camera people? Okay, we're on skibbity 15. Oh, yeah, dude. He's breaking it down with the orange justice. Oh, oh gosh. Baba Booey. He was simply a distraction. Oh, what? Wait, I don't know if you guys caught that. Ch check it out. Right at the end of this, when he hit the ground, hold on, we gotta go back to 15. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like the entire screen kind of glitched for a second. I don't even know if I can pause it at the right spot. Let's see if I maybe slow it down. We could see. But like the whole thing glitched. Yeah, see, look, as soon as he falls, I guess because we're a camera, right? And like, if you were to throw a camera, the whole thing might glitch out. Comment says, bro snuck in a black toilet and thought we wouldn't notice. The cameraman needs an Oscar for just chilling while an army of skibbities are chasing. Skibbity 16. Wait, what? Undercover skibbity. They put a camera inside of the toilet. Oh, they're gonna notice that quick, right? The skibbity language is extremely advanced, as you guys can tell. What? Okay, that was a secret laboratory where they were making stuff that should be in Stranger Things. Okay, that has to be the Supreme Toilet Overlord, right? Master of all toilets. What is that? Um. 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 Ah, uh, okay. Season 5 was wild. This is the aftermath of the last episode. Yo, they got military toilets? Okay. Alright, this is getting out of hand very fast. Who was that giant guy? That was a giant foot, right? Okay, so we've seen the supreme leader of the toilets. This has to be, like, the super cameraman. What? Okay, I'm team cameraman now. Team cameraman is gonna win. How do you defeat that thing? Also, wait, okay, so that's that's like a triple toilet that we've seen a couple times. It's almost like a Cerberus skibbity. <laughs> Slow clap. Okay, wait, what is happening in the comments? Day 20, the deployment of the giant cameraman was great until the appearance of Alpha G-Men Toilet, which used lasers and a kamikaze toilet to damage him. He is now retreating to repair. What happens in this one, then? 
All right, you got the Alpha G toilet. He literally has a riot shield. He came prepared. Oh. There it is. The Kamikaze Skibbity. Oh, that is creepy. Every single time one of the camera people dies, it's so creepy. Okay, we've watched all of season six. Why are there seasons to this? <laughs> oh. Oh, they're looking for the Supreme Overlord. Where is Alpha Toilet? Yo, kill him. Found him. Yo! There he is. Skibbity toilet number 22. This really is just an endless war. Wait, they're gonna get him! They're going to flush Alpha G toilet. I never thought I would hear myself say those words. Okay, we found out he can't be flushed. That's it's literally impossible to flush him. This is getting from a joke to an actual epic war between toilets and cameras. Log 22. During a massive battle between us and the Skibbity Toilets, G-Man appeared and was destroying our army. A couple of cameramen almost managed to flush him, but the handle got stuck while flushing and the two men were killed. We lost the battle with high casualties. Okay, so everybody in the comments are team cameraman. Because that's who we are. We haven't seen like a toilet POV. Okay, that's cursed. That is so gross. That was a five-headed toilet. Yes. Supreme camera. How are they finding each other like this? Oh. <laughs> They're like, nah. Nah. We're not messing with that guy. Oh, we got upgrades. Wow. He's got Iron Man level upgrades. Okay, that was season seven. We are officially on season eight of Skibbity Toilet. I need popcorn. I need some sort of snack right now. This has a better plot than the latest MCU movies. First, man. Yo! Oh, wait! Speakers! The speaker people! Okay, we have alliances. Let's see what the people said. Humans, skibbity toilets, cameramans, and now speakermen. Greatest movie ever. <laughs> also TVs, because there's apparently TVs coming. Bro, this guy needs to make a movie. This is so good. <laughs> this man woke up one day and thought, I'm going to spend the next few months of my life making animations about toilets and cameras fighting. I am intrigued now. The first couple were very confusing, but I understand now. I get it. This is what the kids are doing these days, and I gotta stay young and hip. Whoa. Okay, so they're now using the power of the speaker people. They're getting the upgrades and alliances that they need to beat the Skibbities. At this rate, the Skibbities probably need an upgrade, right? That's kind of the way it's been going. There's like a back and forth. Wow. Okay, they have John Wick on their team, apparently. Bro. Bro's killing Skibbities. Okay, you're dead now. Oh, what? Yeah. Speaker man to the rescue. Oh, you guys are all dead. I need an origin story. Yes! Yes! Supreme Alpha G is back! Oh no, wait a second, that's a different guy. That's like Alpha Speaker Man. Oh, that was cool. Okay, that was season eight. We're on season nine already. We are moving through this quick. Is that Skibbity Prison? What? I think it is Skibbity Prison. Oh, no, it was just a skibbity hideout. They're gonna murder all the skibbities. Gotcha. Thumbs up. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, new skibbity unlocked. I need to see the comments for this one. Bro got the meanest slap in the history of skibbity? Wait, I, I gotta see this. Uh oh. Yeah! Speaker Skibbity! <laughs> My dude got Chris rocked. He's got that Will Smith strength. Oh, I guess they're celebrating. Did they win? 
No. It's a never ending war. What's up with that guy? That skibbity look. Oh! Um. Guys, I think the skibbities got upgraded. The skibbities are crazy! They got flash skibbity! Flash skibbity is loose! Yo! Somebody get flash skibbity! He just destroyed that woman! Oh, you're dead. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, new skibbity unlocked. Skibbity toilet season 10. I swear, there's like three episodes per season. Whoa! Scientist skibbity. They got Bruce Banner skibbity. What is that? Oh, I need to see the comments of this one. They can make zombie camera people. They have parasite skibbities. Okay, this just got next level good. People who want this guy to have a Netflix movie. Everybody needs this guy to have a Netflix movie. Day 30. The mad scientist toilet has been experimenting with new types of toilets. A parasite toilet. The parasite can control cameraman and speaker man. I need to report this to the team ASAP. POV cameraman. I mean, yeah, that is a serious threat to the toilet and skibbity people. Or I guess to the camera people and the speaker people. Yeah, check it out. Oh, no. They don't even know which one's bad and which one's good. Okay. Okay. This is about time when the camera people are going to get an upgrade, right? Every time that it seems like one side's going to win, the other side gets a crazy upgrade. Yes! Speaker Man's back! Oh, no, no! They're going to get him! They're going to infect him. Those are Parasite guys, right? Parasite Skibbity. Oh, they can't afford to lose him. That's the end of season 10. Oh. Oh. Oh, yo! Yo! Yo, dude! Um, this is truly the most tragic loss in the war of the Skibbity Toilets and the cameramen. I mean, yeah. It, it was. We are now on, I think, season 11 of Skibbity Toilet. I'm going through this faster than I went through Pokemon when I was 10. Alright! Alpha G, Skibbity, blew up YouTube headquarters. Oh, who's that guy? Wait, 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 since when can toilets be people? Okay, the toilets have too much power. We need the Supreme Camera Leader back now. Oh, they trapped him. Yes, now they can figure out what it is that's infecting them. Oh, they got it. Good job, team. Okay, now they're going to figure out what it is. And wait. They made a gravity gun. I think that's what that is. Oh. Oh, it can target the parasites. It's an anti-parasite, like, ray gun. It worked? Yeah, let's go! Oh. Oh, they could use it to get their big guy back. It wasn't powerful enough. They need that, but they need to make it bigger. Thank you for your sacrifice, fellow cameraman. It will not be for nothing. Okay, and we at least have the technology that we could use to get rid of the parasites. Okay, season 12 of Skibbity Toilet. We're getting towards the end here. <gasps> yes, they made more guns. Nice. Oh. Oh, you can kind of tell by their music. I didn't even realize. Yes. Yes, the camera people are taking back over. Good job. Good job, boys. Okay, they have officially strapped the anti-parasite weapon to a giant truck. And they basically turned it into a cannon. Oh. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Yeah, dude! What's this guy? 
Oh, they could finally get back their giant speaker. Good. Yeah. No! No! Last second, he blocked it! No way! No, dude! I need to see the comments. Vote for Titan Cameraman. The anti-skibbity toilet shop. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, okay. So that's all the things that they've used so far. They've used shotguns, armies, spider cameras. That thing is called the anti-skibbity nuke. The Doom Slayer cameraman. Day 38. The footage is taken by a cameraman who overlooks a large battle, including the now-infected Titan Speaker Man. Many large toilets and toilet spiders begin to approach the cameraman as a heavy vehicle arrives, which has the parasite remover mounted on top of it. In an attempt to rescue the greatest weapon of the cameraman, it fires upon the Titan. However, at that moment, the strongest of all toilets arrive, that being the G-Man toilet. It blocks the heavy vehicle's beam from the Titan as it fires a large laser, which destroys the vehicle. The toilet army begins to march past the slain cameraman towards the POV. I love that people are, are documenting every single part of this. All right, Skibbity Toilet, season 13. Oh, wait a second, what? This is the first one that we've seen that isn't like a vertical YouTube short. Oh. New character? What? Oh, wait, they can take over the Skibbities. Yeah! <laughs> no way! Oh, a couple of them have armor for their flushers. I guess that does kind of make sense. Is he on their team? Yeah, he is! Let's go, dude! The Skippities are about to get defeated! Okay, all they need is a giant TV man. I guess earlier we did see that comment talking about the TV man. We just didn't know what they did at the time. Yes. Yes. Oh, I guess this is the same one, but just vertical. Okay, we're on Skibbity 40. I guess we might as well watch them fully vertical now. Or I guess fully horizontal, not vertical. I'm dumb. Staying back. Yo. Oh, okay, so they can block out whatever it is that the TVs are using to take over the Skibbities. That is overpowered. Is this the end of the Skibbities? They can't do anything. Oh, please tell me they have a giant TV guy now. Yes, they do! The Skibbities are in trouble. Oh my gosh, it's like the THX movie sound effect. <laughs> It automatically makes them want to flush themselves. But we don't know why. And... Uh, I think that's it. Now also, apparently... I don't know if you guys caught that, but the TV person right there saying something, in reverse, it actually has a meaning to it. So I think he was saying to put on your protective glass so that you don't get infected by... The ultimate alpha TV man. The most epic 80 inch television. He's too good, too powerful. The Skibbities need to flush themselves because they hate movie theater sound effects. <laughs> they all pull out their own plunger. Even the police officer, he was like, nope, dude, I'm out. TV people too OP, too powerful. And then, uh, I think that might be the end of season 13. Normally, every season ends with, like, an epic battle. And this is the introduction of the giant TV man. Now, shortly after this, if we look at season 14, let's just read the comments real quick. Because the comments are, like, my best, most favorite part of this series. If we scroll down, everybody's like, Skippity Toilet, turn it into a movie, please. I gotta be honest, just started watching the series, and I'm surprised it has such dot 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 compelling plot development like there's so much lore within skibbity toilet like from a first glance it seems like it's really dumb and that like two-year-olds watch it but then you actually start watching it yourself and you realize that like there's there's some good storyline here there's some good character development 
This guy said, I like how the toilets are getting darker and more detailed with each episode. And the operators are also keeping up with the evolution. So the actual creators of this are doing a really good job of like making sure that the animations are getting better every single episode. So let's check out season 14. I haven't seen these yet, I don't think. So season 14 and 15 are completely new to me. Okay, so the camera people have been infected. So there's parasite skibbities, but the camera people invented like this, this anti-parasite cannon that pretty much makes it so that the parasites like have to get off of whatever person they're infecting. So it seems like at this point, look, like the camera people should win, but the skibbity toilets get upgrades, dude. That was like a Doc Ock skibbity toilet. And then you have the multi TV dude. The Skibbity figured out because in the last episode, they were able to steal the protective eye cover and they now made their own glasses. There is a Skibbity engineer toilet that is inventing things just to protect the Skibbities. Now also, I've been reading a lot of theories about the TV people because they kind of just like, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like they just went into a portal and just sat, like, you know, like they just dipped. They were like, all right, yep, that didn't work. We're not gonna die. So I've been reading a lot of theories that the TV people are from an alternate reality. Like they're not even from this like whole universe, which is kind of crazy to think. You would think that the TV people would want to help more because like they're kind of cousins with the speaker people and also the cameraman. Now luckily they still have giant TV epic alpha G-man who is still powerful, but wait a second. Oh, oh, he's actually able to kill them. Wow. Okay. Whoa, dude, they shot him with a rocket. Okay, who is more powerful than giant TV man? Maybe Rocket Skibbity. Oh, he's got updates? Okay, this giant TV dude literally just turned into Iron Man for a second. That is impressive. That was good. That man, I do not want to mess with that man. Plus, Speaker Man's there too. Them two together are, wait. Wait a second, what, is Speaker Man taken over by one of the parasites? And that's the end of season 14. Dudes, I'm actually like really excited to check out season 15. I know that like, it might sound like I'm just like kidding, but this is good. This is actually like quality entertainment. Okay, so season 15, let's check it out. Whoa, dude, the episodes also I noticed are getting kind of longer. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but since there's like that blue particle effect around Speaker Man, he's infected by one of the parasites. I kind of forgot about that part. So he's infected, but TV Man has his own speaker, so like he should be able to fight back. Oh my god. Yo! Yo! TV Man wins! Oh, epic face. Wait, did he just teleport away? Wait, did he go back to his own dimension? You can never tell with the TV people what they're up to. The battle rage is on. Wait, what? Check out that new cameraman. That looked like, I don't know, like an old school camera on top of that cameraman's head. Giant TV man. He's too powerful. What is that? Race car tank vacuum skibbity? Wait, did you guys just see that? Like, there was... I don't know what that was on the bottom of it. Oh, no, wait. Let's check that out for a second. What is this right there? It looked like maybe... Is that where they were getting... No. They weren't getting sucked in. I think maybe a camera popped out of there, which is really weird. Maybe that's how it sees. Maybe it's like a remote-controlled skibbity. We've seen that before. Oh. My. God. Are you actually kidding me? And he saved the camera people. The camera people were able to escape. I don't think we've seen that before. We haven't seen camera people escape after they've gone into the belly of a skibbity. We also don't know if skibbities even have bellies. We're just kind of assuming. Because, I mean, they're, like, mostly toilet. G-Man! G-Man skibbity! What? No way! Nah, dude. Nah, 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 nah. I never thought I would see this day. No! 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 He had him! TV Speaker Man had him! No, dude! Come on. Come on. Yes, he's got this. He can end this once and for all. No, dude! There's the Speaker Guy! He got stabbed in the face! This isn't even fair! 
Bro, check it out. There's another giant skibbity. And what's coming in? Is that a parasite? You have to be joking right now. Season 15 ends with... Wait, who's that? Who was that at the end? Who was that at the end? I have no idea. Let's check out the comments. The fact that how much effort this guy has put into this series is just magnificent. The struggle is fierce and intense. Every time the cameramen and their allies seem to be getting the upper hand, the skibbity toilets top them somehow. Both sides are constantly inventing new ways to surpass each other, but as someone who watched the entire series, it seems either that the cameramen are fighting a losing battle or a bloody constant stalemate. It does seem like that. It seems like the camera people... They they win sometimes, but for the most part, the skibbity toilets always steal the technology of the camera people and they just make it way better. Like G-Man's lasers, I'm pretty sure they got that from the camera people. Somebody said the effort he puts in is just outstanding. He broke records with this series. He really did. I, before we watch the, the last couple of episodes, I just want to show you guys like how crazy this channel is now. So if we go over here, you can see it is an A++. He is getting double the amount of views as I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast right now. Just on the Mr. Beast channel, 1.4 billion views in the last 30 days, which is absurd. That is insane. But the Skibbity Toilet channel is getting a billion more views every single month. They're getting 100 plus million views a day and 200,000 new subscribers. They just passed 20 million subscribers. Look at that jump. All from Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toilet literally like made this channel into the best channel on YouTube. But okay, so season 15, the finale happened. Now we are on Skibbity Toilet episode 48. All right, let's start it from the very start here. So I think that they lost like epic giant G-Man TV dude. G-Man Skibbity and a bunch of the other Skibbities defeated him. Okay, nice, nice, they have the guns. Okay, it's a good start so far. That guy's good. John Wick cameraman is good, but dude, Saul Skippity, they have a Saul Skippity, bro, what? How do you beat that? Cameramen are in trouble. I mean, yeah, it seems like it. 16 million views in one day is literally insane. Is there any, like, information on... What just happened? Somebody said, is anyone going to talk about how the cameraman in the beginning sacrificed his life to take down the helicopter skibbity? Wait, did he? I feel like they both died. I mean, yeah, he, I don't know if he sacrificed his life. I'm pretty sure he just, he just got deleted. And then up to right now, the date is uh, July 18th, 2023. Skibbity Toilet episode 49 is the latest Skibbity Toilet. We must smash like on all Skibbity episodes. All right, G-Man has, has won the battle. G-Man is too powerful. Like, seriously, how are you supposed to beat that? Oh my god, bro. Skibbity jump scare. Skibbity's gonna put me in a hospital. Who is that? Is that a woman? Woman TV. Oh. What? Okay. Oh! Oh! They have their own parasites! It's about time. Yes! I don't know who these new secret TV agents are, but they are epic! Epic uwu TV agents! Nah, that's actually sick. And wait, we can teleport. <gasps> we can just teleport away now! Are we in the alternate dimension? That dude's hitting the orange justice so hard. The legions of camera people lives on. Let's go, dude. It says Skibbity Toilets have one question mark. I don't think they have. Better than Netflix series. Episode 50 is going to be fire. No matter how long we have to wait, I think he's taking extra long to make it extra epic. Yeah, that does make sense. It's been three days since episode 50. Episode 50 is like a huge milestone. But real quick, before we do end this off, I do want to check out Skibbity Toilet 49 in reverse because the TV people did say something. But I don't know what. Let's see. In reverse, usually something strange happens. So we're looking for any clues possible. Nothing so far. So they're working on something. I don't know what sort of technology. Hmm. 
Wait, what did they say? I'm sure somebody in the comments figured it out. Wait, I don't know if you guys caught that. There was like a little symbol that popped up during that explosion. I don't know what it was. Right there. Okay, maybe that's not a symbol. Actually, maybe I'm just like grasping at straws. <laughs> Okay, they did say something earlier. I want to just check out the comments. Bro legit slept on the battlefield. <laughs> oh my gosh, she really came back to bring him back to the war. That's actually kind of funny. But I don't know what they said. Read bro? I don't know. Guys, it's the next day and Skibbity Toilet 50 has been released. This has been a long awaited episode, so let's check it out. Here we go, Skibbity Toilet 50. Last episode ended with giant titan speaker TV man getting destroyed. And it seems like the camera people are pretty much going to lose the war. The Skibbity Toilets, I mean, bro, they have, like, X-Men level powers. They can breathe fire, they have rockets, like... Wait, who is that? Wait a second, somebody's fighting back. What cameraman is that? Pretty much all of, like, the Titan cameramen are, are like, dead! Oh! Oh! Yes, Titan cameraman! Oh! It's been like 20 episodes since he's been here! We all thought he was gone! No way! Let's go, dude! Dude, check out the hammer! He can just shoot flames from his chest! What? What? G-Man Skippity is in trouble! The Skippity Toilets are finally gonna die! Titan Cameraman has returned! Nah, that's actually crazy. I did not think we would see Titan Cameraman again. All the cameraman, thumbs up. Thumbs up, boys. This first comment says, after 27 episodes of disappearance, Titan Cameraman is finally back. Yes, he is, bro. Feeling sad for the fellow cameramans who died within this journey. We were able to get into the 50th episode of the series because of them. They are the real heroes. Can we admire the fact that Double Toilet Plunger was so brave? He just got his plunger off and ready to plunge the skibbity toilets. Yes, honestly, yeah. He's like the ninja cameraman. Finally, the long-awaited Titan cameraman is back. Guys, I honestly, I can't believe it. Okay, at this point in the skibbity toilet series, everything is basically just destroyed like civilization and mankind are no longer in existence it's the skippities and the camera people which also include the speaker people and the tv people who are like secret agent dudes which you will see at some point hopefully in season 16 but every single time that the camera people are about to win and about to beat g-man skippity who is the boss of all the skippities that guy right there that has laser vision and he has rockets He's super overpowered, but as soon as they're about to beat G-Man Skippity, something bad happens. This is like the never-ending war. Oh my gosh, dude. That gets me every time, man. These Skippities jump scare the crap out of me. Okay, we've seen this before. This is TV Woman. TV Woman is a little bit different than the TV Mans that we've seen before. She can actually set Skippities on fire. It's pretty overpowered. Oh. And she can also detach her head and infect Skibbities, which we've never seen that before. Now, if they could get that to go after G-Man Skibbity, then maybe possibly this war could end. But honestly, with the amount of views that this channel is getting, I don't think it's ever going to end. There's no reason to. Okay, we're getting teleported, I'm, I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, so the TV people and the TV woman and the man, they, they all have, like, this teleportation ability that nothing else has. Like, not even the Skibbities have the teleportation ability yet. Yet. I have a weird feeling that they're going to get their own teleportation ability at some point. Okay, I don't know if I've seen this. Oh. Oh, wait. No, no, I did. This is Skibbity Toilet episode 50. Just sit back and watch, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, grab a snack. Come on. This is like a movie. Okay, at this point, this is when it turns. 
The Skibbities are about to take over the Cameraman Federation. But not today, dude! Titan Cameraman comes out of nowhere! We didn't see him for basically like 10 seasons. He was under repair and getting some upgrades. And it was totally worth it. Do you see this man? This giant camera dude. He's basically Megatron. He is amazing. And he's got this huge hammer too that is super overpowered. I don't even know the extent of his abilities yet. And I'm sure most people don't know like the other abilities that he might have. Like he might have a gravity gun, a portal gun. He might be able to transform and maybe like disconnect parts of his body kind of like the TV woman can. And then at this point, it's looking like the camera people are going to come out on top. But that was only season 16. So we still have season 17, which I haven't seen all of yet. So I'm super excited. This is going to be brand new to me. I might pause to try to figure out some things. But I'm pretty sure this is a POV. You are Titan cameraman. Oh my god, this is epic. Now, some people might feel bad for the camera people or the Skippities. I honestly don't. I feel like they've kind of both asked for this war. The Skippity Toilet started it, but the camera people, they've been fighting for their lives. And I feel like they probably could have tried to end this a little bit more peacefully, but I'm okay with it because this is epic content. You're not going to see anything like that anywhere else on YouTube. Seriously. Oh, yes, he had baby cameraman, who is just normal-sized cameraman. Oh my gosh, dude. Here we go! Okay, I, I haven't seen any of these, so I'm super excited. Are we a cameraman? Yep, we're, we're a cameraman. Oh my god, yo, it's the plunger dude! Yes! I think we've seen him earlier in the series as, like, this John Wick character that's able to plunge and, like, do ninja flips and, and he's just really overpowered. But he doesn't actually have any, like, really big upgrades like the Titan Cameraman or the Titan Speaker Man. So it's really cool to see that he's back. Whoa. Oh, I don't think we've seen that before. In the background, they have, like, a security camera chopper that just dropped in a bunch of troops. Pretty cool. Who is that? I don't know if we've seen that guy before. We've definitely seen the Skibbities. Whoa. 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 Whoa! Have we seen guns in this series yet? I don't think we have. I think that's the first time we've seen somebody like actually shoot. I don't know if they were bullets or what. Like we've seen giant lasers. We've seen flamethrowers. We've seen TV people with like mind control abilities, but I don't think we've seen that before. Huh? Well, so far the camera people have pretty much beaten out the Skibbities in the last couple of episodes. Team Skibbity is winning. Comment down below if you guys are Team Skibbity or Team Camera People. Uh-oh. I had a feeling Team Skibbity's gonna win. Team Skibbity always comes back with something. Something super overpowered that is beyond fantastic, and it destroys every one of the camera people. Oh, I have a bad feeling for Titan Cameraman. I don't like where this is going. It's almost like in movies when it's too quiet. And you're kind of just waiting for something bad to happen. That is wild that we are on Skibbity Toilet 54. And what's even more crazy is I've watched every single one. Multiple times. I'm addicted. Oh, okay, that was... <laughs> I was not expecting that, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, he put some zest on that. Dang, he meant that. What did that Skibbity do, bro? My goodness, he hit him with the Will Smith special. Whoa. Nice work. Oh my god! Oh, it's this guy! The Flash Skibbity. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no. Yes! Yes! TV Woman! TV Woman actually got the Flash Gibbity! Let's go, dudes. Wait, they're actually winning. Who would have ever thought this? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We're starting to get towards the end. Skibbity Toilet 55. Four days ago, and it has 28 million views. All right. I think this is a POV. We are a camera person, kind of. All right, Skibbity's. Nice try. Oh! Triple-headed bathtub, Skibbity! Nah, bro. Nah. Low-key trash. Titan cameraman needs business. Also, I don't know what city they're fighting in. Maybe it's like New York City, Chicago. I don't know. Some random city. It is destroyed. There's, there's no coming back from this. There's no way you can repair that city. It actually doesn't look that bad, considering that there's been 54 episodes of them fighting. Who is that? That's not G-Man, right? No, I think that might be- Whoa! Skeleton Skibbity. That was like a nuclear waste Skibbity. Titan Cameraman so far is unstoppable. I'm waiting for the final battle. Titan Cameraman versus G-Man. Skibbity Toilet 56. I saw in the thumbnails something. I'm sure you guys saw it too. We haven't seen this guy in a while. Alright, so far so good. They're slowly taking back the city. Tank destroyed. Wait, is that the first time I think maybe we've seen like like that iPad thing? And it also has their name on it. Look on the side, it says cameraman 1247. So there's been a lot of camera people. Huh. Oh. Somehow the TV people know what's gonna happen in advance. I swear, every time something bad's about to happen, they just disappear. And there it is, guys. Speaker Titan Man. He's still infected. If they can figure out a way to uninfect him, they're golden. There's nothing that can stop Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man. No, dude. That's gonna be the next battle, honestly. It's going to be Titan Cameraman versus Titan Speaker Man, and I cannot wait to see it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jack Watches Skibbity Toilet. Okay, Skibbity Toilet War rages on. The rocket Skibbities and the helicopter Skibbities are taking over the world. It looks like for a little bit here that the Skibbities are going to make a comeback, but no. Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man are too powerful. It's literally just over. Team Toilet all the way. Oh no, not, not Team Toilet. Team Cameraman. I am so dumb sometimes. Why would I even say that? My good friend Cyrid, as you guys know, aka the Stinky Rud, he really loves Team Toilet. So sometimes I get a little bit confused. But as you guys can see, the Cameraman Army is back. And since Titan Speaker Man is destroying the Skibbities, all of the Speaker Man army is coming back out. And they're dancing. It is amazing. Look at that. Look at those beasts. Boom, baby! We are back! The Cameraman army is taking over. Okay, looks like we have two Cameraman spies. Have we seen them talk to each other? Oh, this is so weird. So if I had to guess, this little guy is telling G-Man that Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man are destroying and that they're taking over. And it looks like these Skibbities are trying to actually destroy G-Man because I guess G-Man's making all of the wrong decisions. But the engineer comes in, saves G-Man, but it looks like G-Man is losing his army. They're losing faith in the Skibbities. Oh. They found them. Good job, boys. Rest in peace. Two spy cameraman. Necessary sacrifice in the Skibbity army war. And it looks like, wait, they were all watching. Titan cameraman and Titan speaker man 
are taken down, G-Man. I have a feeling the war is coming to a close, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do want to check out one thing. It looked like they were talking to each other, but the weird thing is there's no captions available. So we're not really sure what they're saying, right? So I wonder if anybody in the comments mentioned anything. I like hearing them talk to each other in the Skibbity language. It's really funny because it's the original song, but like, it seems like they're having a conversation. Let's appreciate the effort these NPCs put into writing the same comment every episode, honestly. There's so many people writing the same exact comment. Kudos to the two photographers who gave their lives to get more information so they can share it with their allies. Seriously, shout out to those two guys. They were necessary sacrifices in the war. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a brand new Skibbity, Skibbity Toilet 61. And as you guys already know, we're checking it out. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, here we go. We got camera person running away. It looks like he's carrying, I don't know, like some sort of secret thing. Dude, that thing just got roasted. Hold on, wait, 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 I don't know if you guys just caught that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I want to pause this to try to find as many secrets as possible. If you guys notice anything, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. But in like a second, I don't know if you guys see this, there's somebody inside watching. Now, I've seen a lot of Skibbity lore videos, and this could be the secret human that's left. We don't know exactly who he is, but there's been this like secret person in the Skibbity episodes, and he's not a camera person. He's not a Skibbity. We don't know exactly what he is, but just, he's right there. I feel like we're going to see him later on in the series. What else is there? Wait, well, who is that guy? That kind of looks like the uh, YouTuber Moist Critical a little bit. <laughs> I thought this episode was going to have G-Man versus Titan Cameraman. That is Speaker Woman. We've never seen Speaker Woman before. If she's anything like TV Woman, bro, she's gonna be insanely powerful. Oh yeah, she already is. She can use the power of sound to shoot out knives to propel herself forward. Okay, she's epic. That was awesome. Is she single? Like, I, I'm just saying, like, obviously she has her speaker people, but that was amazing. That was very impressive. What the heck, dude? Like, that scene with the explosion was awesome. Hold on, wait. I gotta see that one more time. That right there. Dude, that was like a movie. That episode was really cool. Now, to be honest, I thought that we would have G-Man with the scientist dude versus Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man. But it is very cool that we got a brand new Skibbity and also a brand new uh, Speaker Woman lady. I don't know how she's gonna play into the Skibbity Toilet versus Camera People war that's going on right now, but... I'm excited to find out. Okay, this is all brand new to me. So it seems like, obviously, the war is raging on. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode that I saw, it seemed like the camera army was winning and the toilets are on the run. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Who is this dude? That looks like a John Wick speaker, man. Oh, okay. Are we safe? So far, so good. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Every single time when it seems like the camera army is gonna pull out of this war on top, for whatever reason, they just come out with some crazy new advancement. Let's see, who is this? Is this the glitch? Who is this guy? Whoa. Whoa. So this guy looks like the glitch toilet that we saw that was on the Skibbity Toilet Army. However, <laughs> now they figured out a way to take him over and he's inside of like some sort of like flying drone Skibbity. That is epic. Oh, wow. Oh, nah, bro, you're dead. Oh my goodness. What is that? Yo, they got like an AC-130 Skibbity, and it got deleted! Bro, it got yated! Yes! Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man! Boys, that is the best duo that we've seen so far in the series. Wow. Oh, it's G-Man in the back. What is this? That looked like a buzzsaw oven Skibbity. Oh, yeah. Finally, boys! I see why now it could be the final battle of the Skibbity Toilet series. 
It makes a lot of sense, boys. We're getting down to it. G-Man keeps evading Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man. I honestly think that he's scared. Or another thing that I think is that maybe he's trying to lure them into a trap. He knows that he's not as powerful. Oh gosh, dude, it was a suicide bomber! Titan Cameraman? Okay, he's good. He's good, my guy's fine. Upgraded Titan Cameraman is chilling. Oh, you guys are all dead. So guys, yeah, I think G-Man might be luring them into a trap. Now, I don't know, because we've seen the scientist as well, and the scientist might be the smartest, just like, being in this entire series. And I think the scientist honestly might know something, and also, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but... In the bottom left, it seems like there's the creator of this series, which we've seen him a couple times so far in these episodes. Now, I think that it has to do with the multiverse, and there's a different universe that has normal people still, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. There's so much hidden lore in these episodes, so I definitely missed out on something. I need your guys' help, like, just combing through these videos. And let me know in the comments, just, like, any piece of lore that I miss. Oh, boys. Is it time? I think it is. See, guys? I was kind of right. G-Man was leading Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man into a final battle. They're all leaving G-Man? No way. They left G-Man. Now, granted, G-Man has some seriously powerful upgrades, but I can't believe that! I honestly think that the scientist was jealous. The scientist is more powerful than G-Man, and he wants to prove it to him right now. Wow! That was a switch up I did not see coming. All of the Skibbities answered to the scientist, clearly because they all just left him. Okay, the Titan Speaker Man should have known. You can't flush G-Man. They've tried it before. What they can do is smash him to bits. They can just keep smashing and smashing and just send him down into the sewers. Wow. This isn't fair, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Is that it? It's... G-Man was a robot the entire time? It's not the real G-Man, is it? No, it was a trap! It was a trap! I knew it! No! Bro. Bro! It was a trap. That might not even have been the real G-Man. Okay. Upgraded Titan Cameraman, he, he seems okay. Right? Thumbs up. He's damaged! What? No. No, 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 boys. Hold on. We need to check out the comments. Oh my gosh. The fact that the series went from an Ohio joke to a massive war with comebacks, betrayals, surprises, and it's even over 50 episodes, it is, it is insane. It is insane. I definitely agree with Mr. Stumble here. Um... I wonder if there's any comments about how Titan Cameraman, he he's he might be gone. Like, that could be it. And I know, too, that a lot of people were saying that um, the creator took a big break. Like, episode 65 came out two weeks ago, and then he took, like, a week and a half break to make Skibbity Toilet 66, which is the longest episode in the entire series. And, guys, we're going to check it out. And then we're going to check out the comments. But this could be it. I don't know if you guys noticed in the description, it says the final battle begins. So this very well could be the end of Skibbity Toilet as we know it. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this free time after Skibbity Toilet ends. What do I do? All of my time has been spent watching Skibbity Toilet. Okay, boys. Now, I do have a couple theories. Titan TV Man has not been seen in a few episodes. Actually, maybe a lot of episodes, so I feel like he's gonna have to come back if they stand a chance at winning. All of the speaker people, the camera people, the TV people, and maybe even a different species, they're gonna have to come together to win this war. Because it seems like both of the Titans are deleted. What's happening? Oh, they're angry. They are angry that their Titans got destroyed! Let's go, boys! It takes numbers to win a war! Oh, this is revenge right here, boys. 
Yes! Oh! <laughs> Eat that! Bro, the bigger they are, the harder they get stabbed. Let's go! What is that? Oh! <laughs> We're seeing some camera people that we've never seen before. Also, too, where are they trying to get to? Oh. TV woman! All the women! The women are back! Let's go! Oh. Okay, boys. I don't know who that guy is, but bro. He's got a he's got a giant Gatling gun as a PP. What is that? Also, he looks different. I don't know if we've seen a skibbity that had that face before. Okay, he's got his glitched mech drone suit. And guys, it seems like some of the main characters in the series are going to have to team up all together because they don't have their Titans anymore. Unless they have Titan TV, man. Which, we low-key, we kind of need Titan TV, man. Is that the scientist? Oh, no. They said something right there, but I, I don't know what it was. Hopefully somebody in the comments translates it. Come on. Come on, you can make it. No! No! Where are they going? That can't be it, right? There's more. Interesting. So they have some sort of, like, underground secret society where they can hide out. Okay, that's their own scientist. I think we're probably getting analyzed right now for, like, a glitch or a parasite. I guess we passed. What's happening over there? Dudes, what is that? What just happened? Who is over there? Okay, that- it, it has to be Titan TV Man, right? It has to be! And I just- okay, I have so many thoughts right now. So, it looks like the Titans are gone, right? Like, that- that point right in the start of the episode, right at the start, it seems like- look at that, they just sent a picture, literally just like, being like, hey, we got both of your most powerful dudes, they're just dead. Like, the trap worked, the G-Man at the start of the last episode wasn't actually G-Man. Um, it was just like a robot G-Man in disguise. The scientist is like, he is outsmarting the camera army easily. Like, he he's doing everything that he has to do. So, honestly, the only hope right now is either a new Titan or it's going to have to be TV Titan. Who, like, I don't even know what happened to him. But let's check out some of the comments here. Uh, this is not just a mini movie. This is a masterpiece. Agreed. Agreed. I love how the cameramen go into a blind rage when they think the Skibbities killed the Titans. I love the camaraderie between the cameramen. When they think the Skibbities killed the Titans, I think that maybe the Titans are gone. I mean, they sent this picture, definitely Titan cameraman was like thumbs down, so it seemed like they were probably going to get attacked because it was just them two in that last episode, and they were both really badly beaten up. The cameramen have become furious, and now the famous allies are all going to have to destroy the Skibbity Toilets. It is pretty unexpected, and it was an amazing episode. Um, I wonder if there's any, like, any person that said what the Skibbities, or sorry, what, like, the camera people were talking about. Um, I don't see anything right now, but yeah, look at that. Somebody said, we are waiting for episode 67 with Titan TV Man, who is the last Titan standing. That's it. Uh, for anyone that didn't notice, I'm pretty sure that the gray suit speaker head was the vet that first took the hand of the cameraman when the speakers were in the war in episode 24. Interesting. Okay, so it, it was the first ever speaker head, or speaker man. Um, and let's see anything else. <laughs> Rest in peace, Titan cameraman and Titan speaker man. Rest in peace, boys. Press F to pay respects, honestly. Well, and I've been seeing a lot of theories that episode 60 or episode 69 might be the final episode of the entire series, which honestly, like, that would be perfect. All right, so we are, uh, I think we're invading Skibbity HQ right now. In the latest episodes, we saw that uh, upgraded Titan T or upgraded Titan Cameraman and also um, the uh, Speaker Man, they probably are destroyed. I don't know if they're fully destroyed. It seems like they probably are able to be repaired. But it's going to take a while before we see them back in action again. 
Now, obviously, Titan TV Man is going to make his reappearance somewhere in today's episode. We just don't know when. We don't know where. I mean, you guys probably do. You guys are on top of this. You guys watch this as soon as it comes out. Also, guys, if I miss anything, make sure you guys leave a comment down below with a timestamp. Okay, so there's a giant buzzsaw, dude. Oh, whoa. Whoa, even though... Wait, what? Oh, my God. He just stole the buzzsaw. I did not think we were going to see upgraded Titan Cameraman and Speaker Man come back that fast. Dude, he just slapped him in the face. Wow. Okay. This is a lot better than I expected. I thought they were down and out for the count after getting destroyed by that fake G-Man in one of the previous episodes. But it seems like they're fine. Honestly, guys, it seems like they're making a push towards Skibbity HQ, but Scientist TV... Or just Scientist Man. Scientist Skibbity Man. He wanted them to come back. I think it's all a part of his plan to take them out once and for all. The scientist, honestly, at this point, I think he's too powerful. Even though we have the ultimate duo, the scientist, dude, he's insane. He's got all the powers in the world, and he's got, like, these new radioactive nuclear cannons that can destroy both Speaker Man and upgraded uh, Camera Man. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay. We need these guys to at least do some damage to the scientist. Honestly, they need backup, though. Who is that? Okay, that has to be the glitch, right? It is. It's glitch cameraman. But whatever just happened, dude, it messed up the cameras. I don't know if you guys noticed that. The entire screen started to mess up. Like, right here. You can tell it's starting to mess up with the camera people. So they can't operate as they usually do. Something with, like, I guess the, the frequency and the audio waves just messes up their cameras. No! It's actual G-Man! No way! Just when they were about to do some serious damage to the scientist. No, 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 no. I don't think that he has a lens. He's literally just trying to end it. No, no, what's happening? No! No! We're gonna lose the boat! No! Please, please, no! No, 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 no! They have him destroying himself! Oh. No. They're fighting each other. They've been taken over. And it's crazy to think because it's the, t the it's the same technology that the TV people originally brought over and the scientist Skippity stole it. Yes. Did that do anything? Nothing. Literally, that did nothing. <laughs> Who is it? Is it him? Yes. <laughs> is it him? Yes, G-Man's out! Bye, G-Man! See you, loser! <laughs> yes! Yes, he got upgrades! Dude, he's been gone for like 20 episodes! And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is back, baby! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Get the scientist out of here! Boom! I gotta watch that again! <laughs> Do it! Yes! Titan TV man for the win, baby! Woo! I never thought I'd be this excited about Skibbity Toilet, but here we are! <laughs> yes, they're back, boys. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> Job's not done, boys. Job is not done. G-Man is still... Huh? Bro. Okay, wait. Did I just see that right? How many G-Mans are there? Because I know... In the last episode, we saw that G-Man wasn't even, like, real G-Man. It was like a robot G-Man. Like the Terminator, pretty much. And that's honestly what's probably going on here. There's at least one G-Man, two G-Mans, three... Probably an entire army of different levels of G-Man. And that's it. That has to be the final battle! 
And it's honestly kind of scary because even though we have our three titans, two of them are badly injured. Who's this guy? That's that's the founder. And whoa, 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 whoa. that's not the scientist, is it? Is is that is that a mini version of the scientist? Right? It it, it can't be. Can it be? Is there a mini version of the scientist? Where? Where are we? We gotta get in there. This is Skibbity HQ. All right, we have our mini bosses. We have Dark Speaker Man. Come on, get in here. Get oh yes, just made it. All right. He sacrificed himself so that the boys could get in. We have our plunger guy. And this is it. I mean, this has to be the end of the war. It's up to these guys now. It's up to these guys and the Titan Cameramans and Titan TV Man, Titan Speaker Man to destroy Skibbity's once and for all. But ladies and gentlemen, there was a lot that we just watched right there. First off, I, I honestly, I we, we didn't miss it, but that was crazy. So we saw the founder, right? For like half a second right there. And he says, look to the left. Is that what was he telling the camera to look to the left to find the scientist? Is he is the founder of all of the Skibbity toilets? Is he on the Skibbity toilet side or is he on team cameraman? Like that's the thing where I don't I don't know. Cuz what does look to the left even mean? Like it could mean literally from right here just look to the left and then you'll see that the scientist may or may not be still alive. I don't know if that's actually the scientist or what. Because at this point, we thought we killed G-Man last episode, but we clearly didn't. There's multiple G-Men. And then I wonder if there's any, like, secrets inside of the actual HQ. Because it doesn't seem like it. Like, there is this up on the wall, which it seems like, yeah, this is Skibbity Toilet Headquarters. Um, I don't know exactly what this means. If you guys know what this translates to, let me know in the comments down below. But this is clearly, like, some sort of uh, flag for the Skibbities. They have G-Man on there. Um, which is their figurehead, but yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and let's actually look through some of the different comments Um, somebody commented. This is straight up a movie now. Good job, bro. Really proud of you Obviously, yeah, this is not just a, a stupid series anymore like this. This is next level stuff This is like, uh, they're gonna get a netflix original level stuff. Um <clears throat> Also in the comments. Let's see. There's really nothing else to look at in the description. Um, somebody said, I'm almost certain that the series will end at episode 75 to 80, uh, but I'm almost certain that it'll last longer. So you see, I've never seen that before. A lot of people have said that it's going to end very soon, or at least like it'll, it'll stop for a while at episode 69, because at this point he's making actual movies for episodes. Like all of episode 67 was about six minutes long. Um, and he breaks it up into different parts, which is honestly pretty smart. Um, this is kind of a newer video too. So I do want to go ahead and go back to the original channel just to see if maybe the other episodes maybe had some things going on in the comments. So this is 17 hours ago. Uh, the description says that the Titans unite and squad of cameramen chasing the scientist. So the scientist is back. The scientist never fully died there, even though it seemed like they, they fried the scientist's brain. He's still alive. Um, the large speaker man deserves all of our respect for his courage and sacrifice. I mean, agreed, agreed. He was able to get the boys into the HQ, um, which we cannot forget, but let's see. Yeah, I'm looking for like any extra, um, any extra little bits of information that people would have commented, but I'm not seeing anything right now, at least on that latest episode, maybe episode 67, which it seems like, yeah, this is when Titan TV man comes back. Great job to the Titan TV man. He deserves our respect. I mean, agreed, 100%. The fact that the plunger man, the Titan cameraman, and the Titan speaker man couldn't even defeat him together proves how strong the TV Titan truly is. I mean, yes. I will also say though that like it, it helped that they could all group together. Like Titan speaker man, Titan cameraman, and Titan TV man all together. That's the most power that we've seen to, like in this series. So the fact that he's back is insane. And he also have, has a Optimus Prime sword and even more screens. So, I mean, he's gonna be pretty much unstoppable at this point. So this final battle is gonna be absolutely next level. I just don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for it because episode 67 came out over the span of three weeks. So at that rate, Episode 68 might take like an entire month to come out, but I'm willing to wait for it. And I'm sure you guys are too. Real quick, we're gonna watch episode 68, check out your guys' comments, and then do a secret deep dive on what we might've missed.
Okay, we're starting out strong, dude. We got upgraded Titan TV, man. Fighting off the G-Man army. Now, a lot of you guys were commenting that the G-Mans are actually clones of G-Man and that the scientist is like... He's using G-Man as a figurehead, so G-Man isn't even really in charge. When, for like the entire series, we thought G-Man was in charge. But he's not. It's really the scientist that's pulling the strings. All of these G-Mans look so weird, dude! And Titan TV, man. Dudes, he is insanely powerful. Look at that. He's got multiple TVs going around, just frying the brains of the Skibbities. And like, I love their little faces. It's just so amazing. They're so adorable, but so deadly at the same time. Wow, dude. This is insane. Look at that. He's, he's trying to hack in. Not a chance, bro. Not a chance. There's no way they're going to beat upgraded Titan TV, man. Look at that. They're holding down one of the G-mans. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Okay. Maybe, um, maybe chop off his buzzsaw arms or something. Okay. Maybe don't kill him because they need to take a hostage to... What? What? His arm can teleport? Bro, dude! I mean, we knew the TV people could teleport, but we've never seen them teleport limbs. Actual limbs? What? Okay, you're just dead. I don't even know, like, why would you try that? <laughs> what a dummy. What an absolute buffoon. Okay. They're talking to each other. We have no idea what they're saying, but we're going to find out when we do a deep dive into the secrets. And it actually looked like we were going into the TV, which was kind of super weird. But ladies and gentlemen, there was a lot that we just watched. And that's only part one. Keep in mind, there is a theory going around that Skibbity Toilet 69 will be the final episode. So we're kind of getting towards the end. But okay, so we saw a lot in that episode. We saw upgraded Titan TV man's abilities, um, which, you know, he has a lot of different abilities. He has portable TVs that he could just launch out. He's got lasers. Um, they obviously can fry the Skibbity's minds using that, like, red TV effect ability. He also seems to have, like, some sort of, like, Iron Man arc reactor in his chest that probably is, like, a laser beam. So, yeah, this guy is powerful. We don't know exactly just how powerful, but he took down an entire army of G-Mans pretty much single-handedly. So, we're gonna say that he's, like, at least five times stronger than any G-Man that we've seen. Now, real quick before we do the deep dive, let's check out your guys' comments. So... Let's see. Oh, this guy said, it's a really good idea that TV man can teleport his sword, which I agree. Like, that is such an overpowered ability. But honestly, I feel like it makes sense for upgraded Titan TV man to have some ability that, like, we've never seen before. Like, only he has that ability. No other TV can just teleport, like, swords or, like part of their bodies, like normally they're teleporting their entire bodies. We've never seen it before where they could teleport part of their body to attack the Skibbities. So that is definitely epic. Uh, yeah, this is actually the first episode that we've really seen upgraded Titan TV man's abilities. And my gosh, guys, they are insane. Let's see. This guy actually listed out all of the upgrades. So he has extra TVs, movable TVs from behind the main TV, teleporting limbs, flying TVs, the orange screen. Obviously, we've seen the purple pink screen, the anti-parasite tech so that he can't be taken over the purple lasers, the cannons, and also, I mean, every single TV is, like, able to move around, and they're all able to, like, fight on their own, which is incredible. Like, we, we haven't seen a Titan that overpowered yet. I mean, upgraded Titan cameraman was very powerful, but even he got taken down. Okay, so now we've checked out that, guys, but we're gonna go head over to Elite Cameraman, who does some of the best analysis and, like, deep dives on these videos. So, Let's sit back, relax, and check this out. Hello, everyone. Elite Cameraman here. Hi. It was kind of unexpected, but episode 68, part one, dropped earlier than we thought it would, and only a couple hours after the first leak, the new episode dropped like a nuke, and it was quite the show-off from upgraded Titan TV Man. Yes. As I guessed in my leaks video earlier today, we saw the new abilities of upgraded Titan TV Man. Right, we did. actually capable of. Blood literally clowned on every G-Man <laughs> toilet clone. Like they it wasn't nothing. even fair. The other two titans really have to get some crazy upgrades to get on the king's level. I mean, honestly, yeah, like, up, or not not even upgraded, just like Speaker Man and upgraded Cameraman. Like, they honestly don't stand a chance if they were to battle upgraded Titan TV, man. Like, this guy is on his own level. At this point, I don't even know if there is any toilet that's even half as strong no. as upgraded Titan TV man. Not a but chance. But that wasn't all because we got a glimpse of what's awaiting us as well. And before we get into it, 
Make sure to like this video and as yes, usual, guys, let's smash try to like to 100,000 likes. Subscribe. While you are at it, don't forget to subscribe. To new okay, let's skip and see and the breakdown here. Skips. I'm of course not counting multiple part episodes since they have to be connected because it's all in the same episode. Okay. We see the injured large speaker man trying to hold the door for plunger cameraman to get in. But sadly, we get to witness the tragic death of the poor large speaker man once yep. again. Yep, R.I.P. the speaker man gods rest his soul. He sacrificed After himself the for the closes, greater good. We start hearing the G-Man clones yapping as usual, and it seems like we are the only normal agent in the vicinity at this point. I honestly thought we were going to see this episode from Titan Cameraman's POV because there was no one left from what we can see, but that I That would have been not. pretty cool. Right after we see the plain G-Man toilet shooting his rockets at upgraded Titan TV Man, but we already know that he is rocket-proof, so he defends yep. himself pretty easily, leading up to him slashing one of the rockets and using his core laser as a blaster instead of a constant laser, knocking off the weakest G-Man toilet clone. Right after this, he suddenly starts getting attacked from behind. Yeah, so, like, this guy, this upgraded Titan cameraman, or upgraded Titan TV man, he's, he literally took out a G-Man, like, he snapped his fingers, and the G-Man was gone. So, I mean, this guy, he's, he's next level. And it's the laser G-Man toilet clone. It also looks like he can aim to a single point with all his lasers at once, and normally this should do a lot of damage. It probably nope. should do enough damage to kill nope. Titan Speakerman, if I'm nope, honest. Nope, 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 nope. But what we see here is incredible. Upgraded Titan TV man actually turns his core to the laser. It, he, it seems like he has like some sort of force field around his power core. So like he's not able to take any rocket damage, any laser damage. No parasites can get in there. Like this seems like an indestructible force field around his heart. And even though the cores have been weak points for other Titans, Upgraded Titan TV man uses the energy output from the laser G-Man toilet clone to increase his own powers and we can oh. see that upgraded titan tv man's monitor is getting a little brighter and i guess yeah so kind of similar to how um thor powers up iron man the g-mans are powering up the upgraded uh tv man so he literally is absorbing damage and then he could give it back even stronger than it was before yellowish while he is being charged also his purple core effects are merging with the yellow ones that's a crazy power if you ask me. Forget it's about unstoppable. being able to defend himself against it. Blood can literally use it for his good. Now, I also do want to see what, what were they saying? Because obviously we know that upgraded uh, Titan TV man went on an absolute rampage and destroyed everything. We saw that he can disconnect his body parts. Um, he could teleport, which is insane. So we've already seen that. But I do want to know if this channel did like a, a breakdown of like what they were actually saying. Plain G-Man toilet and fall down with him to kill him but the POV cameraman turns to his left for a second. We see the main head monitor using the red beam to literally torture laser G-Man toilet clone to death. And when we look up, we see one of the arm monitors using the orange beam to burn one of the helicopter toilets, while the yep. other arm is using the purple beam to control the other helicopter toilet and crash it into the other toilet. It's insane. It's like the avatar using all four elements together to defeat his enemies. Okay, so we've, we've seen that. Let's see, what do they say to each other? Obviously, the battle rages on. Oh, wait, it looks like we did a little bit of a flashback here. no idea where they were all this time. Looks like they probably were spying on the G-Man toilet clones. I don't know what they're planning, but for some reason, they don't want the G-Man clone army to happen from what we can gather. Yeah, it's I'm super weird. We'll get to learn more about them as we go on, but right Like, now, it seems like, yeah, there's like a little civil war happening in the Skibbity army, which we didn't really see before this moment, like when they attacked one of the G-Man clones. And at this point, too, we didn't even realize that the G-Mans were clones. We thought there was one G-Man. And now we realize that there's like multiple G-Men and that the scientist is actually like just controlling G-Man. Now it's crazy after getting okay so after they they win this battle right then they start talking but i think it's like at this point after they destroy g-man after we see that he can disconnect his limbs and stab him in the face with the sword speakerman starts clapping titan tv man in a normal way just like how speaker woman clapped the glitch plunger cameraman in episode 66. Titan cameraman also gives a thumbs up to Titan TV ma'am while this is going on. And to be honest, he is pretty sturdy when you think about what happened. He is still standing even after all that. I think once he goes through his upgrades while getting fixed, he might actually become stronger than Titan TV man's current no version. No way. It really is a possibility. No way. After this, the POV cameraman looks at the upgraded Titan TV man, but we start hearing some skibidi noises from the left. 
and while Titan TV man is turning to our left, we hear a normal <laughs> toilet coming towards us from the right side. This poor this little guy. Because what the hell is a normal toilet doing <laughs> Seriously, here, Seriously, what Suddenly is he thinking? He gets picked up by a large TV man, and he smashes the toilet, killing him just like he that. He gets suplexed. We can also see so many camera helicopters arriving at the scene to most likely help with the raid. Here you go. Listen to it yourself if you don't believe me. Uh, so we figured out what he says, and uh, yeah, he pretty much just says, shut the heck up. Like, he's sick and tired of the skibbities. After this, the POV cameraman points at the large TV man and shows the skibbity toilet bunker door. If you looks carefully, his gloves are all messed up, and this might be an indicator for this character later on. Maybe hmm. we'll get to see him once again, and that'll be the difference for Interesting. us to recognize him. After this, the large TV man looks at the door and says, not now. First, we watch in reverse and points at his TV monitor. We already knew that watch large in reverse? TV man could show what's going on in cameraman POVs from episode 60's ending. And yeah. it seems like we'll be watching what's going on inside starting from part two of episode 60. Oh. But here you go. Listen to the large TV man yourself. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I couldn't really understand that, but I will believe that. Okay, so next episode, we're going to watch what the, the group from episode 67 is doing on the inside of Skibbity HQ. And a lot of you guys were commenting as well that the uh, like the symbols above the Skibbity HQ just were basically saying that it was like the Skibbity headquarters um, in like Greek language, which was pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys noticed anything that I missed out on, let me know in the comments down below. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Jack, uh, this is not the Skibbity Toilet channel, which you guys would be correct. You guys have 9,999 IQ points in your brain. This is a channel that I found the other day called No Skill Clutch. And when I originally found it, I thought it was Skibbity Toilet, right? You look at the thumbnails, you see the titles, and you're like, wow, this is Skibbity Toilet, but it's a different channel. So at first I was like, this might be a secret Skibbity Toilet channel. And then I actually watched it, and I think that it is. I don't know if the original creator is behind these videos, but once we check them out, I think you guys are probably going to think that maybe he actually is. Um, before we do that, I do want to also check out on the original Skibbity Toilet channel if there is another Skibbity, because I, I don't think that I've seen a new one yet. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, there actually is. Skibbity Toilet 62. So after we check out this channel, we'll check out Skibbity Toilet 62, which it looks like the scientist is about to go like Hulk full rage Super Saiyan mode. But first things first, we're going to do a deep dive on this channel right here. So I think that they do the same thing that the original Skibbity creator does, which is, uh, yeah, they put them all into seasons. So here goes nothing, boys. Let's see. Okay, currently there's... Oh, oh, there it is. Huh. So it's basically the same. Oh, this is weird. So is this like a different version of G-Man? I'm, I'm confused, right? Because like there's... I don't see many toilets. Oh! Oh, I just got it. I literally just got it. So the camera people are now the skibbities. The cameras are in the toilets, and the people that were in the toilets before, they're just normal people now. Oh, that's so weird. Huh. <laughs> so it's the same characters, but they kind of just did like an Uno reverse on each other. That's so, so weird. Wait, 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 hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. In this episode, though, there's the normal skibbities. There's the heads in the toilets, they're not camera people. I'm very confused. If you guys notice anything, by the way, during Teddy's video, leave a comment down below. Oh, this is like POV, we are the TV people now? Oh, it's G-Man, okay, so we still have G-Man. G-Man's still all sorts of messed up. It looks like his face is like a waxing candle. But wait, oh, I don't know if you guys caught that. G-Man, G-Man has a hand in this. So G-Man is no longer a skibbity. G-Man is just like a giant version of, of a person, which is kind of weird. Okay, so that was just season one. And that, that was a lot to take in, but let's, let's check out season two before we do another deep dive. Okay, it's so weird seeing like normal people here.
What the? Yo! Yo! What the heck is this? Is that Titan cameraman as a skibbity? Oh my god, that dude just got smoked. My man just got clapped. What? Oh god, wait, which side is the good side now? It seems like, wait, wait, guys, it seems like the Skibbities, or at least like the, the people that were the Skibbities that are now the actual people, they're the good guys, and the and the camera people are the bad guys now. This is so strange. Oh my god, it's it's no longer Angel Skibbity, it's just an angel man. What are we even watching? It's literally like we're in a parallel universe where Skibbity Toilet was made by a completely different person. That was Speaker Man, right? Oh no, it's it's also TV Man. Or THX Man. I'm so confused. Okay, so Titan Cameraman is Titan Cameraman Skibbity. Who, who is this guy? Wait, why is this guy so weird? What's, why does he have like powers as well? I'm genuinely confused who I'm supposed to be rooting for. Comment down below if you're hashtag team camera people or hashtag team skibbity. Which I don't even know if there's a difference now. Seems like the camera people and the TV people and the speaker people, they are the skibbities. At least some of the times. But then, then there is a camera person. There's like a, I'm so confused right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have no idea what the flip is going on. Okay, okay. We're going to keep going here. There's season three, all episodes. By the way, this channel is blowing up from this, so I really hope that it's the original creator. They deserve it. Oh. So this is kind of like a spin-off of the original Skibbity series. So they're on the lookout for G-Man, but that's like G-Man in a toilet. They don't... G-Man doesn't exist in a toilet in this world. Whoa. What the... <laughs> what? This feels so wrong! Nah, bro, what is happening? Literally. How is my man supposed to eat the popcorn? He's tied up. So, oh wait, are, they're on the same team right now. It looks like the people in the back, like the skibbities that are no longer skibbities, they're just normal people now, and the uh, speaker people, which are now the speaker skibbities, it's very confusing to keep track of everything, but they're on the same team, and they're, I guess, fighting the camera people. Oh, or not. I don't know, guys. I don't know, because these also look like speaker skibbities. Dear God. Holy, that is a big man. They recruited Ant-Man to the squad. He had a bazooka. Wow. Wow, I don't know if we've seen anything this big yet in the skibbity verse. Okay. Oh, Jesus, dude. Imagine that being the last thing you see before you die. Oh, no. Who is it? Is it G-Man? Is G-Man good? G-Man is huge! I legit just got goosebumps. Oh. My. God. I gotta watch more. I almost like this better than the other ones. I, I literally can't even lie. Okay, so this one looks like it's going to have uh, the, the scientist dude. Okay. This has to be connected somehow, right? It has to be connected to the original Skibbity series. It just has to be. There's no way that this isn't made by the original creator. It looks exactly the same. Oh my God. Okay, so the scientist in this isn't a toilet. G-Man and the scientist aren't toilets anymore. This is so weird. Okay, so there still is one more episode that came out a day ago, and they are getting some crazy views on these. Well, like, rightfully so. These are awesome. Okay, that dude just got pulled out of a toilet.
Huh. Okay, we've seen him before. Huge Godzilla rocket, man. Whoa! It's Titan Speaker Skibbity. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. What is going on right now, dudes? Okay, all right, all right. Crazy theory right now, but hear me out. These are made by the same people. Also, if we check out the comments, we need to check out the comments and the description. You'll see that it says it's a canon event. And for those of you guys that don't know what that means, it canon means that like it takes place as a part of the original storyline. So if it really is a canon event, it's taking place in the same multiverse, which means that they are connected somehow. Like they're in an alternate universe, but it's made by the same guy. It, like you cannot convince me, you cannot tell me, you, you literally can't that it's not made by the same exact dude that made the original Skibbity Toilet. That is incredible. That This dude is a genius. Look at this. This guy really deserved 1 million subs. Yeah, like, he shot up. If we check out his social blade, he shot up. Look at that. Look at that. He shot up insanely. Look at that, dude. He started out at 187 subscribers in July. By August, he had 378,000. And now he already has over 1 million subscribers. Like, we've never seen anything like that. Those are Mr. Beast numbers on a brand new channel. I do want to check out some of the comments here just to see if, like, anybody has any theories. Kind of looks like they're just saying it's a really good video, which it is. But I want your guys' opinions in the comments of like, what do you think is going on here? Is this the original creator? And he made a new channel to be like a multiverse channel with different events happening. And eventually they're going to meet up like a freaking crossover episode of Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon from back when I was 10 years old. Or is it just like a fan that's making the same sort of animations? But anyway, so we've seen the secret channel, No Skill Clutch. Which, I mean, yeah, the amazing channel, but we do have the latest episode of Skibbity Toilet. Let's check it out, boys. Here we go. Okay, I'm way more excited for this. I mean, the other ones are really cool, but this is, this is the storyline that I know. Oh, I gotta make sure to crank the volume. There it is. Hmm. So at this point in the original Skibbity Toilet universe... It seems like, yeah, the camera people are winning. Titan Cameraman teamed up with Titan Speaker Man, and it just felt like it was game over. Now, the scientist Skibbity did have some pretty insane creations. Yeah, look at that, dude. Scientist Skibbity, like, he got some upgrades. Some really powerful upgrades. Okay, it seems like if you put the headphones on, you're fine. But yeah, G-Man and the scientist, they are fighting back. Wow. Wow. And check out this dude. Like, this guy seems like he should be in the other multiverse. They have... They have bodies now. Now, I also do have one... One final theory for you guys, and... I'm pretty sure... That in this Skibbity Toilet series, in the original series, we've seen some instances of real people standing. Like, real people that have arms and legs that... They're not... They're not Skibbities. They're not camera people. They're just normal people. And I have a feeling that they might be from this alternate universe of the No Skill Clutch channel. It's a crazy theory, but I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Comment down below your thoughts. That was amazing, and I cannot wait to follow this channel and also the original Skibbity Toilet channel. I've been reading your comments in the latest Skibbity Toilet video, and a lot of you guys were telling me to check out this channel right here, Dom Studio, which apparently, you guys have been saying, has some secret Skibbity Toilet lore. And as you guys know, I watch everything Skibbity Toilet related. So, today, we're going to be checking out this, and also a different channel called No Skill Clutch, which, if you guys are fans of the channel, you guys know that we've actually watched their channel before. And uh, I personally believe that this channel is made by the original creator of Skibbity Toilet, this beautiful man right here, who I'm pretty sure has the most views in YouTube history other than Mr. Beast. And it actually looks like there's a couple more Skibbity Toilets, so maybe if you guys leave a like on today's video, we will check those out in a future video. But yeah, I think that No Skill Clutch is actually this guy right here, just in disguise. Like, this is a secret channel, so we're gonna be checking that out. But first thing first, we're gonna check out Dom Studio, who has made their own Skibbity Toilet multiverse lore, which... 
I'm kind of curious, like, if you guys think this is actually a part of the original series, or if it's just solely like a fan-made creation. But, let's check it out. So we're probably gonna see a lot of the same characters. Yeah, look, there's, uh, Titan Speaker Man, Titan Cameraman, the Skibbities are flying around. Uh, oh, interesting. Now, since it is the multiverse, I'm kind of curious if something different is going to happen than what we're used to seeing. Like, obviously, in the other multiverse video that we checked out, there were actual people walking around, whereas in, like, the regular series, there's just the toilets, and then there's the camera people, along with some of the other, like, speaker people and TV people. So I'm curious if they're gonna have some, like, different characters in this. Huh. Oh, there it is! The first new character! There's Clockman! Wait, this guy looks awesome. He has, like, a steampunk vibe to him. Whoa, and they have giant hammers as well? Oh, wow, that is cool. Huh. And since they're new characters, I wonder if they're gonna have some special abilities. Oh my god! Do they, bro? My man, he just set the timer and exploded! Uh, wait, no. He stopped time. I thought it was going to be like a sonic wave, but no, he stopped time. Literally in its tracks. We've never seen anything like that before, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. I wonder if the original creator of Skibbity Toilet is watching like these fan-made videos that are actually really well done, and maybe they'll work together and include some of this stuff in the original, because that would be so cool if we actually saw this character in the original Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> Okay, they are super overpowered. That was epic. Look at this man. He's so dapper looking. He's like in a suit. Okay. Episode number two of season one of Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Wow. It's so interesting to see all the different things that could happen. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a little bit OP, honestly. If there were actual clock people in the Skibbity Toilet series, like there's no way that they would ever lose. Look at that, they can move around the skibbities. They don't have to worry about getting shot. And it, But it does seem like it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So eventually they're gonna run out of time where they have like time frozen and then they have to be ready. Oh, dude. The skibbity toilets kind of seem the same, but I don't know what that was. I don't know what that clock man just did, but it kind of looked like he just pooped everywhere. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that how he's communicating? <laughs> what, bro? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, that was so random. Oh, wow. Okay, so it seems like the main characters in this series are the clock people. It's the clock people versus the skibbities. What is that? Oh, 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 okay. He just turned back the clock, bro. These guys are like Doctor Strange. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. By the way, if you guys notice any secret Easter eggs in this, leave a comment down below with a timestamp because there's usually some secrets in these videos that I am just too stupid and I miss. Huh. Okay, there's still the camera people, right? The security camera people. And uh, who is that? What? This is really confusing, dude. Wait, I don't know if you guys just saw that. Look at that, look at that. There's like a like a little camera, or maybe it's TV woman down there, but she looks extra kawaii. And she has like this giant scythe. Huh, my man, he do not look well. Whoa. What is that? Yo, that was sick. There's Titan Clock, dude. Sick, bro. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, the original series is really cool, but some of these fan-made animations, they're amazing! I wish that they could all team up together and combine all of the characters in the multiverse, and they could all meet up, just like the Avengers in Endgame. Wow. Wow. So his blaster freezes time, but only the thing that he hits. Everything else still keeps going. Whoa. And what did that do? Oh, whoa, it can turn! It can turn him! Wow! He has his own parasite gun, so we can change the team of the Skibbity! Holy smokes, this guy is OP! 
there's nothing that could beat that thing, right? Not even G-Man. He could just shoot G-Man in the face with the Time Stopper, and there's nothing he can do. Okay, this is G-Man's number two. This is Scientist Guy. Oh, there's G-Man. G-Man, man. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> G-Man's on the run. Wow. Wow. What? This has to be the most overpowered Titan that we've seen. He is, he is basically 1v2ing G-Man and the Scientist. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Oh, he, wait, why don't they want to end this right now? Whoa. <laughs> what? How did he just teleport? He has every ability. Seriously, what is that? A magnet skibbity? Wow. That was a lot to break down, but first things first, before we do, we need to check out the latest episode, which was released yesterday, Skibbity Toilet Multiverse number five. Let's see. So we just watched Titan Watchman, Titan Clock Dude, destroy G-Man, the scientist dude, and basically the entire army of Skibbities. He has every power ever. He can teleport, he can stop time. What is going on with this guy, though? Like the box watch clock dude. I don't really know any good names for these guys. Who is that? I don't know what POV this is, but he had some crazy gravity gun. <laughs> huh. Oh, no. That's not good. Whoa! What's up with these magnets? Oh! The magnets. They're super effective against the clock people. They could shut down their clocks. There's always something with the skibbities. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All of the magnets might mess up Titan Watch Dude. Oh, he's got some good. Yes! Yes, he's got his own skibbity army because he took the over their minds using the mind control thing. Very cool. I'm honestly surprised at how good that fan animation was. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about that in the comment section down below. This was created by Dom Studio, who did such a great job with that. That was epic. I mean, yeah, he had his own style, too, which I really liked. But let's go check out the No Skill Clutch multiverse animations. We're going to check out season four first and then the latest episodes. So, yeah, just like I said earlier, I think this is made by the original creator. Like, the style is exactly the same. But it's so weird because there's actual people in this. So, if this is actually made by the original creator, that means that eventually this universe and the original Skibbity universe, they're gonna they're gonna intersect at some point. And then we're gonna see the actual normal people. Like there's a normal G-Man in this universe. We're gonna see him and then the G-Man Skibbity. And I don't know what team they're all on. Like it's so confusing. See, look, like, in this, there's cameras inside of toilets, there's people, there's, look at that, TVs inside of toilets, there's TV skibbities. Like, what team are we on right now? I don't know who to root for anymore. It was so simple in season one. I just knew that toilets were bad, cameras were good, and it, that's all that my brain could handle. Like, that thing? What even is that? That is a speaker skibbity. Titan, a Titan speaker skibbity. It's so difficult to track anymore. Somebody needs to make like a giant family tree of all the different multiverses of skibbity toilet. Just so that my tiny peanut brain can keep track of this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what? The skibbities in this universe are so overpowered! Oh my goodness. I don't know if, like, the people are still the Skibbities anymore. They're still singing Skibbity! Huh. Comment down below who whose team you think is the good team and whose team you think is the bad team. In this one, I think that the Skibbities, like, the actual things in the toilet, are good. Like, the camera people. They're not even people anymore, just the camera skibbities. They're on the good side. 
And G-Man, G-Man's clearly evil, right? Let's see what this is all about. Is it toilet graveyard? <laughs> this is so scary. I don't like where this is headed. Oh? Oh no. It's one of the parasites. What? What? Hold up. Guys. We've seen that before. And I'm pretty sure it's in the original Skibbity whole series. We've seen Skibbities that have bodies. And this might be where it came from. I'm starting to think that in this multiverse, there's there's a portal to the original Skibbity series that we've watched so many episodes of at this point. But I think that is everything. If you guys have any theories or if you noticed anything that I missed, leave a comment down below. We are going to be checking out some fan-made Skibbity Toilet animations from Dom Studio, who has been raking in views lately. In the last 30 days, they have gotten close to 300 million views. That is like Mr. Beast level, boys. And it's all from their fan-made Skibbity Toilet animation. So, today, we're going to be checking out Skibbity Toilet Multiverse episodes 6, 7, 8, and 9, which honestly are some of the best ones yet. If you guys enjoyed, by the way, make sure you guys leave a like on today's video with your left pinky finger nail. Do it. But here we go. Episode number 6 is first. Oh, wow, dude, that was a- wait, wait, oh, hold on, right at the start, first off, there is a ginormous buzzsaw skibbity toilet that is, like, face first in the concrete, and there's, like, a speaker person going over with some, like, weird-looking tablet device that maybe they could use to, like, take over the skibbity. I don't really know. Let's see what else do we have. Um, this guy looks sick, by the way, like the clock tower titan cameraman. Yeah, some of the skibbities and some of the camera people in this animation are just next level. What does that say? The TSM is back on to the headquarter. Subject is injured, but able to fight. He is safe now. And I'm guessing that's, yeah, Titan Speaker Man. Okay, interesting. This guy is sweet, by the way. The animations in this, they're a little bit different than, like, the original Skibbity Toilet series. But I don't know, guys. I kind of like this a little bit better. I hate to say it. I don't want to be that guy, but I like this. What's happening now? Oh, okay. So in this one, I guess Titan Cameraman, right? He's, he got taken over by the parasites. But dude, the clock tower titan, he's able to basically slow down time to nothing. <laughs> it's not fair. Like, how are they ever going to lose? All right, my guy's going in. He's got his titan camera hammer. He's got his titan camera guns. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yes, the buzz saws, they're working. They're chopping off all of the extra weapons that this guy has. Holy smoking macaroni noodles, bro. This is epic. Look at that rap scallion. He's getting destroyed. Finish him. Oh, whoa. He pulled out his electric cord. Oh my gosh. Wait, what was that? That was the parasite. But in order to stop Titan Cameraman, he, wait, he could reverse time. Oh my goodness. So is he going to let him live? What? Why would you do that? No. He sacrificed himself. No, boys. No. No, 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 no. They're gonna take him over. Don't let it happen. Yes. Come on. Get out of there. He needs repairs now. No. Oh. My goodness. Holy nuts. They're going in. They're gonna take him over. That might be it for Titan Clock Tower. Wow. Wow, boys. And that is episode six. But that's not all we're checking out today. But holy smokes, that was epic. That was cool. Let's check out some of the comments. I, I don't I don't understand. I'm guessing they're saying that it's necessary that this is a Netflix series, which I think it is. Uh, this person says your Skibbity Toilet series is getting better and better and has a lot more depth. I'm looking forward to the next episodes of the series. I mean, me too. I don't know like what you guys think, but leave a comment down below like with your thoughts and opinions. But this series, I don't know what it is about it. It just like seems like a lot better than the original Skibbity Toilet. Maybe not better, but just like the animation seems a little bit more polished. Um, and some of the Skibbities and some of the like the camera people, like the clock tower are just so creative. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and, and we're gonna uh, check out Skibbity Toilet Multiverse number seven. 
So this is after, obviously, the clock tower died, but Titan Speaker Man has been fully repaired, so he's back. <laughs> Get wrecked, nub! Yo, yo, they're breaking it down! Okay. They're hitting the orange justice right now. Let's see. Okay, booyah, boys. Oh yeah, message sending. What is the message? Who are we trying to get in contact with? What they really need is like some other Titan now because I mean, Titan cameraman is still taking over, but here's like the, the Avengers of the camera universe. Like they have all of these different clock people and I guess they're building a brand new guy. Their powers are so cool, but it's not working. Oh, weird. Oh, was that TV woman or? Oh, Clock Woman. Hello. Miss Clock Woman. Oh, poor little guy. He just wanted a hug. Okay, maybe Clock Woman can figure this out. I mean, yeah, usually for whatever reason, the women in this series are more powerful. And she kind of gives me like a Doctor Strange vibe. Oh, wow. Wow, she's the most powerful one yet. She might be cooler than the scientist Skibbity. Okay. Oh, welcome. So, what's so cool about this guy? Interesting, interesting. Titan has been captured. Okay, so this was all happening right as the Titan clock tower was getting captured. He looks angry, boys. He looks like he is ready for revenge. So, in that episode, we got a brand new clock. And let's see what he does. Now, this is episode number eight. Episode nine, which we'll watch next, I think has like some brand new tower as well. Some brand new clock tower. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he is not playing around. And he's gonna reverse the clock. He's just gonna keep doing it over and over and over again until he talks. Oh my God, this is, this is torture. This is so cruel, and I love it. Okay, you better talk. Okay, he's definitely talking right now. He's he's writing down maybe the location of something. Oh, they got that information, and... Oh, they burned him. They burned the entire room. But they got the information. There's a cuckoo clock. Skibbity toilet base's location. Okay, multi TV man. What is what is he gonna do? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, he has a an attack drone. Whoa, whoa! What is this? What the fireworks, Skibbity? What in the name of what is happening? Wow. Oh, it's one of the drill guys. So the drill guys are the parasites of this multiverse skibbity world. Whoa, no, 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 no. Come on, be a good guy. Be one of our guys, finally, please. He's saying don't shoot. It's, it is our guys. We have our own drill camera people. Yes. A new species has been unlocked, boys. And is that a Titan? I really hope they have a Titan on board. Get ready for your next mission. Mission type? Rescue. And it looks like everybody got the same message. We're going on a rescue mission, boys. With our brand new screwdriver, Skibbities. And, okay. So that was episode number eight. Let's check out some of the comments on this one. Secret Agent Elite Cameraman got me. Um, let's see. Only biggest fan of Dom can like this comment. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see, uh, deeply admire the level of dedication and meticulousness that you bring to each one of your videos, which, I mean, they do. They, they really, like, spend a lot of time, it seems. Um, I love this new team, and the Chief Clock Ma'am is really, really cool. I'm waiting for the Titan Rescue. So I guess that's the next episode. They're going to use the brand new um, drill people in order to hopefully get back Titan Clock Tower, who is their best unit by far. I don't know what it is, but in this, like, multiverse, it seems like, honestly, the Skibbities get pooped on every single time. The Skibbities seriously suck butt. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? This guy is swanky. This guy's pretty cool. Huh. Uh-oh. 
Whoa. Whoa, what's up? What's up, squad? Who's that big guy? Huh. Uh-oh. Yo, the Skibbities have giant rockets, but... We got that drill, people! Yeah! Titan drill! Woo! Boys, let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Eat my metal! Oh, you're scared. You better be scared. It reminds me, honestly, of the mole from The Incredibles. <laughs> Suck on that, Skibbity! Suck it, Skibbity! Suck it, Skibbity! You're so trash! Oh, they're trying to use the speakers to, to shut them down, but nah, bro. It's not gonna work. Nope. What? <laughs> that was so funny, dude. As soon as he got captured, his face was so scared. Oh, he's not getting away. Yup. Titan Speaker Man came out to play. And I guess they're all teaming up to go rescue Titan Clock Tower. The Skibbities don't know what's coming, boys. The Skibbities do not know what is coming. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to check out. So that, that was Drill Man Titan right there. I really like the design of the Driller Titan. Keep it up. That Drill Man Titan is so OP. I mean, he is. And these animations, I'm telling you guys, they are, they are next level. And in the description, it says, The clock is ticking, friend. We are coming. Which I'm guessing is what they were saying about them rescuing Titan Clock Tower. Which, I mean... That is the best way to end that, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy. And if you have any theories, leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, click this video to see more Skibbity right here.